and he's from Cape Dorset, which is the largest concentration of Inuit artists in Canada. What we see here is a selection of many things she drew in her life. She drew what was good and what was bad, what was outside, what she enjoyed. Even though she had a very tragic life in many ways, she suffered from addiction. She had a lot of struggles, and we see them in the pictures. But if you really look deeply, she also shows what is beautiful about the North in general. She draws much like her mother and grandmother, a very straightforward way. Some people say it looks naive or folk art. I, I hear those terms. I don't think they are that. You know, I think she knows exactly what she's doing. She rarely uses a pencil. She just goes right at it. She's got a very confident line. Later drawings, you can see she's really trying to broaden her range, use more color. But I also appreciate her use of leaving things blank like the negative spaces, you just see what's important. You know, this girl from Kingite just was making such impactful, simple drawings that she really forced change on how particularly Canadians see Inuit art, but also introduced Inuit art to a new audience.